This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, January the 25th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. There's a look at the Alpha SkyCam network from ABC 3340 from the Gadsden SkyCam. And we have a beautiful, clear morning with just a few little uh, wisps of some high cirrus clouds across the central Alabama sky. And there's a look at Birmingham and the uh, sky clear. But with that will be changing. It's going to be changing because of a... A uh, combination of an upper-level storm system as well as a surface low that will be moving through the Ohio River Valley today and uh, the upper storm system moving very quickly. There's a look at the upper air flow, and we can see that trough out over uh, in the vicinity of uh, about Kansas City, Missouri, and Kansas City, Kansas, and that will be moving by very quickly, and that will cause us to drop back in temperatures once again. Temperatures this morning starting out the day ranging from the upper 20s to the lower 30s across central Alabama. We should warm up nicely today into the uh, mid and upper 50s across the area. Looks like this system will bring a little bit of rain. Yesterday we were figuring that uh, forecast uh, was going to be dry, but it looks like this system will have a little bit of precipitation with it as it moves by. It's not going to tap into any moisture coming out of the Gulf. That's not going to return, but it will bring some moisture with it. So we have a chance for showers into the evening hours and early morning hours of Monday. And the storm system is going to be wreaking havocs with uh, the northeast uh, U.S. All of those purple and pinks are winter weather advisories. And then the uh, greens are kind of, I don't know, it's an off green color. Those represent uh, winter weather watches. QPF-wise, uh, the main focus for QPF is uh, well to our northeast where that storm system is going to create some problems for those folks. For us, we may even hear a peal or two of thunder. There's just enough instability, nothing to be severe, so no organized severe storms, but uh, we might hear a little bit of thunder. All right, let's take a look at the 060 GFS model run. And this is the trough forecast position for today as it comes uh, across the Mississippi River about midday. And uh, again, it bringing a nice uh, surface low through the Ohio River Valley and dragging a front down into the area. You can see the colder air coming down into Arkansas, represented there by the 540 thickness line. That digs into the East Coast on Monday, and so that's going to make Monday a really cold day for us. Uh, we'll see clouds primarily uh, in the uh, especially the first half of the day, and temperatures probably will bottom out around the upper 30s in the morning, but then they're going to struggle to climb uh, very much higher than the lower and mid 40s across the area. That whole system kind of does a uh, bombs out, as we call it, uh, with, with a very deep uh, closed low uh, just off the, uh, the New England and uh, the mid-Atlantic states. And uh, that, of course, creating a pretty uh, uh, interesting storm system for those. But we should be uh, clearing out and warming up a little bit on Tuesday. Wednesday, uh, we come under a weak ridge, so things should be dry. And Thursday, we see another fast-moving uh, uh, system coming through the flow. And that, once again, will bring a little bit of moisture with it. Once again, the Gulf doesn't have time to open up, so we're not getting a lot of uh, return moisture. But we will see at least some clouds. I think right now that looks pretty dry. Uh, that system moves by, but another one gets into the chain of uh, the series of events. We see another one coming in through the Dakotas, uh, and uh, that one will uh, also bring some colder air. As you can see, the 540 line still up into Missouri. By the time we reach uh, Saturday, that system is coming down into the mid-Mississippi River Valley, and so uh, we see colder air once again coming in. And then by the time we hit Sunday, we've got a long-wave trough position established over the eastern U.S., so we'll be chilling down once again. Not just especially cold yet. <laughs> Wait till you see what the uh, GFS Voodoo Country has. And speaking of Voodoo Country, uh, we see that the flow becomes a little bit zonal around Thursday the 5th, and we see a, another wet system uh, in the form of a, a shortwave trough coming uh, through the flow uh, over uh, Texas and Oklahoma and Arkansas. But uh, then things really change, and wow, the GFS is now forecasting a tremendous chill down for the eastern half of the country. This is the 7th of February, 324 hours out, and it keeps that cold pattern uh, all the way out through the 9th of February. If this If this verifies, if the GFS is correct on this, this could spell some record cold for uh, parts of the eastern half of the country. 
But we'll see. If you're a seasoned veteran here, you know that the uh, JFS uh, voodoo country, sometimes these things disappear the next day. And very quick reminder, uh, the Storm Alert Tour begins next week. Uh, not this coming week, uh, in a week. Um, the February, uh, we're going to be out on every Tuesday and Thursday in the month of February. I hope you have a great day. James Spann will be back with the next edition of the Weather Extreme video first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, Godspeed.